All right, so welcome back to Dreamland. Tonight, we're gonna go ahead and do a running gun here down in Old Town, San Diego. Um, behind me, that's the Whaley House. Uh, apparently, it's haunted. I'll go ahead and tell you guys a story, but uh, go ahead and run that intro real quick. Alright, so as I said, right behind me, that's the Whaley House, okay, um, down here in uh, Old Town, San Diego. Now, um, that's the courthouse, and behind that, that's the actual living quarters of the Whaley family when they lived here. If you're around here, the tall tale signs that a ghost is around you apparently is uh, the scent of lavender, because that's Mrs. Whaley's uh, perfume that she used, as well as um, cigar smoke, because Mr. Whaley definitely loved his cigars. So, let's go and uh, see if we can get some ghost photos as well as uh, wander around here uh, down in Old Town, see uh, if we can get some cool photos tonight, and uh, let's have some fun. That's a good one. All right, I'll go ahead and stop here. And uh, let's go ahead and see before. And then let's see after. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and move on then. I'm trying to find some ghosts. You know this place is haunted, right? You know this place is haunted, right? Oh, perfect. Yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, perfect. So most of the time it's the upstairs window. This one, where you can catch ghosts in apparently. That's super creepy. a better angle tilt as I'm rolling out and get almost perfectly in line wait, wait, wait. One more. Let's try one more time all right so let's go ahead and uh, I've tilt my screen back around because we got all loose oops let's go ahead and see what that looks like in before uh, let's see what it looks like afterwards Alright, so I found something cool. There's this sign back here, as you can see. It's, uh, it's, it's right, right there, or way back there, as you can see. Um, there's this cool plant in between, um, so we can do some cool um, depth perspective type of shots, um, as well as do some isolation and kind of throw some blurs in there. So, first shot, we're going to go ahead and target the subject, this plant in front. Right, and then as you can see, everything in back is all bokeh. So it's all, it's all bokeh. So we'll go ahead and pull the before, and then an after, so you guys can see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lock onto the back section, right? And then I'll pull it down. So I'm pulling um, the plant in front. Um, and I'll go ahead and pull that up on screen now so you can see it. So we'll do before, and then we'll do an after. And so you guys can kind of see what I'm getting with this and kind of how I can play around with this lens, create depth of field. Um, it's interesting what you can actually do with these cameras. Now you can play around with their autofocus to kind of target the, um, the focal plane that you want or bring your subject into the focal plane. And then, um, 
like that. Like I'll show you another one. We'll do something dumb fun. Click cafe, right? Grab the cafe, target it, bring it down, bring things into it. So you create this like, get really down low, create this really cool shot. Boom. Do a before. And then let's do an after. So you guys can see. All right, cool. So now you guys can see um, kind of what this lens can do. Let's go ahead and wander around some more. Go ahead and find some other stuff we can take photos of. Apparently he's not smoking anything, but he is in this photo. photo before after perfect let's move on so you see this sign right here all right I like the eyes of this painting so we're gonna try and get those it's blown out so let's change those settings for this we're gonna change the ISO that's it watch I'll show you so as we dip the ISO down right that degrades the photo. The higher the ISO is, the grainier your photo will be. So the idea is to bring down the ISO as low as, as possible, so it keeps the integrity of the photo. So in order to degree, to underexpose this, or to get it perfect, as you can see in the histogram as I'm shifting it, so that's blown out. That's because it lights directly on it. Um, but that should work. Let's see. I really like these. Right, shadow out of that. One more time. Let's do a before. And let's do an after. Because that's a really cool photo. Alright, let's move on. So the other angle was trash. This is going to be better. Photography is all about being patient and looking from different angles at one subject. The cool thing about this is, as you can see, there's stuff in there. So we can create this really cool depth because this lens allows us to do that. So, let's see if we can get this. So the idea is I'm gonna try and use flexible spot, which is a Sony feature catch this one little section now I'm gonna wait for this car to go by boom got it all right so the idea is let's let's find this shot let's find a better angle so I can get more out of it the idea is to create depth and create this feel in the shot and wait for that person to walk by <laughs> simply like that all right, let's pull up a before. And let's pull up an after. All right, so I like this place because the lights. You actually get to see the, the full capabilities of this type of lens. Uh, so as I said before, uh, large aperture lenses such as 1.8 or 1.4 primes allow you to catch very, very thin focal planes. Um, allowing you to bokeh things very easily. So you see all these crazy lights in here? Let's go ahead and see if we can get some cool photos from it. Try and get some bokeh effects. And and I like coffee, so um, let's go ahead and shoot some espresso signs. All right, so let's change this focal and change this focus setting, flexible spot shift that over and get in here and there's a light see this light right here I'll focus in on it it's casting on that so it's cool creating this cool little shadow effect or this casting effect on this espresso sign that I really want so there's one let's 
just kind of open it up. Shoot. Get more lights in there. Gourmet coffee. Let's even get that sign in there. Screw it. That light, because it's cool. Create that depth of field. Check this out. Gourmet coffee. Let's find it. Find our shot. There it is. More time. Perfect. All right, let's do a before. And let's do an after. All right, so let's look at this again from a different angle, okay? As I said, photography is all about angles and manipulating light sources, as well as understanding your, your camera and what it can do. All right, so you see there's more lights over there. My camera's tripping out, so boom. Like that. See if we can create something cooler. And we'll see it go. It's target on go. Like this GoPro I'm shooting on. Go. One more time. All right, let's see before. And it's also seen after too. All right, let's see what else we can find here before I have to bounce. All right, so check it out. I was walking by and I saw this really cool uh, clock as you can see and it's going to throw off this really that light directly into the sensor and you can see it's going to throw off this really cool green effect what you got to do is just target it right right and just angle it so we can get that green effect in the, the photo like that boom killing it do one more shift off to the side get it all angled perfectly and bam that's pretty cool. Let's get one more. But this time I'm gonna change the um, the focal area because that was zone. I'm gonna go ahead and use um, flexible spot. Shift it over to the spot that I was getting the best best effect from. Target that, right? Boom, the hands. Get that green shot shit in there. Bam. Let's see if we can get it from a different angle. Pulling that green effect from that lens flare. Bam. One more. All right, cool. Let's do a before. Let's do an after. All right, Dreamland. So that's it. That's the running gun here down at uh, Old Town, San Diego. Uh, we did a few shots here at the Whaley House. Uh, hopefully, maybe we got some ghosts. I don't know. We'll see in post-production. Um, but yeah, just wandered around here for a little bit. Um, just a taste of what's actually down here. Uh, I'm going to come down here again and uh, hit another section soon. Um, but for that, for this running gun, that's it. Um, thanks again for tuning in. Um, if you go ahead and like this type of content, go ahead and comment in the comment section below. Um, go ahead and hit a like. Um, subscribe to the channel if you wanna stay up to date with all the newest content that I'll be bringing soon. Um, and have yourselves a wonderful evening, Dreamland. Until then.